Hey guys, Andre here. Wanted to make a quick video showing you guys how to make a big three kit. Um, big three kits are basically uh, upgrades to your car's electrical system. Um, most of the times the cabling inside an engine bay is really not even that well suited for the electrical load from the factory. Um, adding an additional four gauge cable for the most part will take care of whatever the alternator is capable of producing plus support any other loads you might have from say an audio system upgrade or a power inverter or anything like that. Anyways, this is my method. I know there's a lot of people who make their own big three kits. I know there's a lot of people who have their own method. I think this method works extremely well. It's very reliable and uh, the crimps are very solid. I don't recommend just going out and you know beating a, crimp, beating a, a terminal with a hammer you know, and just thinking, hey, you know, that's good enough. Um, I mean, I guess you could, but <laughs> this is not the way I do things. So I've got my website, big3kits.com. If you guys want a big three kit made there, by all means, check it out. Um, you can get custom kits made. You can get kits made for specific vehicles. Right now, I've only got the Chevy Cruze and Sonic set up because I don't really have a whole lot of other cars to reference off of. So if you want anything made, let me know. All right, so the first thing I do is I take some uh, pretty good cable. I found this stuff right here. I get this from windynation.com. I'm moving over to Temco Cable pretty soon because I found out they're a little bit better quality, but they're both pretty good cable. You want oxygen-free copper, 100%. And you'll see over in this cable, it's 100% oxygen-free copper. Uh, you can get um, copper, I'm sorry, you can get tinned copper sometimes, which is a little better for corrosion protection. But in my opinion, if you've got a good um, crimp on it and if you've got a good heat shrink it's really not going to matter. Alright so the first thing you're going to want to do is take the end off of it and cut it to size. Now I bought one of these things, uh, Channel Lock makes these, you can get them on um, Amazon, you can get them on anywhere else and I found that they're extremely effective. I've got a little sample piece of cable here that I'm just going to work with. I've got some that I'll be building here later. So the first thing we need to do is measure the length that you're going to need. Now, the big three kits are going to be uh, for three specific lengths. You've got from the alternator to the battery power positive. You've got the battery negative to the chassis. And then you've got the chassis to the engine block. Those are the ground cables, the two last ones. So you're going to want to measure how long you need for those with a tape measure. And then cut your uh, cable length accordingly. So... These are really nice because they cut really, really well. They cut really simple. This is just put the wire through, give it a quick snip, and you get a clean cut. And I like having a clean cut. I don't want to sit there with, you know, tools that are not designed for the job. The next thing you're going to want to do is grab the terminal that's the size you need. Now, I get mine from uh, Temco International. I mean, sorry, Temco Industrial. Uh, that's where my crimper is from as well. And the terminals are really heavy duty. They're really thick. I found that they're a bit thicker than the ones at Windy Nation. I prefer these quite a bit. So basically you're going to want to put the cable next to the terminal, figure out roughly how much length you need. I put my nail right there most of the time and just give it with light pressure a few quick twist twists. Just break this off and you've got your bare terminal right there. Okay. Next I've got this one set up. I know there's some cheaper ones on Amazon uh, but they're not for AWG spec, they're for uh, metric spec. Get this one, the Temco 5 ton crimper. And what I'll do next is I will grab the crimp. I kind of set up a desk for myself here. Basically, put it inside the crimper and get it to where the crimp is holding it but not tightening it. Right around there. Next, I'll grab my crimp, I mean my uh, cable. Find the cable over right here. Hold it down so it's flush basically crimp it, I'm sorry, until it's all the way closed, tight. I'm trying to move my hand here so you guys can see it in the video. All right, and when you're done, this is what your crimp is gonna look like. I found that these crimps are very strong. I can hang my entire 200 pound weight off of a ceiling joist here in the um, in the garage, so and the uh, the terminals don't come off. So I think that's pretty good. Next, you're going to need a heat shrink. Now you can get heat shrink with adhesive, or you can get heat shrink without it. I just recently started going to heat shrink with adhesive, just on the notion that it seals off a little better. And you'll need to cut about a two inch section of it for each for each terminal. And what I'll do is I'll just got some uh, heavy duty shears here. Find about a two inch cut.
And there you have it. Slide the terminal over and get out your heat gun. I only got a heat gun from Harbor Freight. I'm uh, probably going to get a better one soon, but this one seems to do the job for now. Just go at it nice and slow at the highest heat setting. You'll see that the heat shrink just kind of wraps around the cable. And once you get it a little bit hot, you'll see some of the glue started coming out. I'm not sure if you can see it through the video. Some of the glue starts coming out of the side. And that produces a pretty good seal. Alright, and that's all it takes. So you want to do this for each one. You can kind of see the glue there on the end where my thumb is, or near my thumb rather. That's a pretty good seal. That'll hold. It's pretty flexible. Um, for the wire, again, I just recommend using some good um, welding cable. It's plenty flexible. You know, it'll mold around most areas. I mean, bend around it. And it's, uh, it's really good stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Again, if you want a Big 3 kit made, just go to Big3Kits.com. If you want to get some of the hardware that I'm using, um, just go to TemcoIndustrial.com. I'll put a link there in the description so you guys know where to find it. Uh, they got really good stuff. It's pretty affordable. Uh, the crimper is really good. And uh, anyways, just uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions. All right, bye.